Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Supernatural Eats and Happy New Year. This recipe actually falls at a great time because this coming Friday is going to be Orthodox Christmas Eve, which is essentially vegan because it's no meat or dairy. And the episode of Supernatural that we'll be doing is the season four episode titled The Monster at the End of This Book, where it's opposite day. So Dean orders the veggie tofu burger, but gets a bacon cheeseburger by mistake, and the waitress takes it away after he takes one bite. Um, but again, because I have to be vegan this Friday, I thought veggie burgers would be a great recipe. And when watching the news this morning, I actually found out it's what vegan January. So win-win. Although I, the recipe I found doesn't use tofu, so it's all going to be veggie based. And um, I will link it below because it's a very customizable recipe. It goes through and it lists um, each type of ingredient and then the mix of all those ingredients that you can use. Uh, the base ingredients are always going to be a medium onion diced, one to two garlic cloves, half a teaspoon of salt and oil for cooking. And then you can choose everything at that point. So let's get to dicing our onion. And I just want to point out my mom got me new knives for Christmas and they are so much better than my old knives. I am so excited about these knives. They just cut so well. And for ease of use, I use the pre minced garlic and this says a half a teaspoon equals a clove so we're going to put in a teaspoon okay then we're going to cook the onion and garlic until like translucent i think it said like a minute or two and then to that we're going to add two cups of the veg cooked vegetable now, um, again, like I said, it's very customizable. What I picked for my veggie burgers is sweet potato, spinach, and mushroom. So I did, like, because it's two cups of the cooked vegetable. So I did three quarter sweet potato, three quarter mushroom, and half of the spinach. And then you're gonna cook that until it's soft about five to 10 minutes. Okay, onions are looking translucent -y. I'm going to put in the vegetables. And while I'm cooking the veggies, I'm going to prepare my one and a half cups of black beans. And I'm supposed to save the juice in case later when we blend, it's too dry and needs moisture. You add back in some of that bean juice. Okay, I think that's been five to ten minutes. It says until soft. So now I'm going to transfer them to this bowl. Now we're gonna to come to the point in the recipe, the other reason that I picked this particular one, not only because it's so heavily customizable with what you put in, say you don't like mushrooms, you can pick something else from the list, is because here's where the recipe can go two separate ways. The original recipe says you put it in a food processor, but I don't have a food processor. So it tells me that I can use a potato masher. That's why we picked this one. So there's two different ways you can go. You can either put all the ingredients in a food processor and pulse it until not a mush, but solid enough you can make patties or you can use a potato masher. So the next bits that go in is gonna be the one and a half cups of cooked black beans, a cup of rice cooked, and I used long grain because um, yesterday I made Hop and John for the new year for good luck. And it doesn't specify what kind of rice, so. And we're also gonna add half a cup of chopped cashews. And again, there's lots of different, if you're allergic to nuts, you can use something else. It must smell good, Loki's going nuts. <laughs> no pun intended. Okay, and then to that, we are gonna add half a cup of plain panko. And again, there's a list of different things you can choose from. And the panko is one thing that if it's too wet, you add back in, you add back in some panko. And to that, we're gonna add a teaspoon 
of paprika. I think the recipe actually called for smoked, but I'm just using what I got. Chili powder, and it, it's three teaspoons of the seasonings. So again, you choose what seasoning you want. These are the ones that I'm choosing. Paprika, chili powder, and then Italian seasonings. Aha, okay, so now we are going to mash this up. Middle bowl with hot ingredients, maybe not my brightest idea. Okay, now it says, if you can form a patty, good. If not, you're gonna add bean liquid if it's too crumbly, or you're gonna add panko until it's just right. So can I form a patty? Can I touch it is a good question. All right, let's see. It says they're gonna be about a third of a cup in size. So let's, so here's my third of a cup. I'm gonna use this to gauge. And then if you can make, you're gonna form eight patties and you're gonna place them on a baking sheet lined with parchment. And then you're gonna refrigerate for 30 minutes. Oh, well look at that. That formed a very nice patty. Sweet, that was easier than I thought. Okay, I'm gonna need another uh, tray, so I'll meet you back here in half an hour when we complete them by frying them up. Okay, so it's been about half an hour in the refrigerator, which is supposed to help them set, and then we we fry them in a pan. And it says you can, you can cook three to four of them at the same time in the pan, and you're supposed to put, I think it said like two tablespoons of olive oil and replenish in between, but I don't think I'm gonna fry mine that heavily. I think I'm just gonna kinda enough to brown them, maybe crisp them a little bit and cook them all the way through. And then it says you either serve them immediately or you can put them in aluminum foil in a Ziploc and you can freeze them. Let's get cooking. I'm just gonna make sure the pan's coated with the olive oil. And I actually got nine patties out of mine and maybe I miscalculated a medium onion a little bit wow. and maybe some of the rice and the vegetables. Okay, and my pan's not that big so I'm only gonna cook three at a time. And I've had some of the pre-made veggie burgers. I am particular to the black bean veggie burger. And usually when I eat the veggie burgers, I don't eat them as a burger. However, I have had certain um, of the veggie burgers at some of the fast food restaurants and they don't taste too bad. And I, I'm convinced the only reason they actually taste like a burger is because you're eating them as you would a, a regular hamburger on the bun with all the toppings and the lettuce and the onion and the mayo and the ketchup and the mayonnaise and it's, it's, it's mustard. And so it tastes like a burger because of that. However, the texture is not quite there yet with veggie burgers. If, if, you're, if you're a meat eater, you can tell the difference in the texture and a little bit of the flavor. So usually I just eat my veggie burger either one or two just by themselves or with a salad or with a side vegetable. Maybe I'm thinking I may use the rest of the sweet potatoes and make some sweet potato fries to go as a side with these, but that's up to you. Um, I'm really, I can't wait to try these. But I am so excited it stayed together when I flipped it. Frying uh, three to four to time, oh, for three to four minutes per side. Okay, yeah, they're starting to fall apart now. Round one is cooked, so it fell, fell apart a little bit towards the end there. Grab a fork and give a taste before I cook the rest of those. Um, so here is, here is our veggie burger. Again, I'm not gonna stick it on a bun and eat it, you know, like a burger burger, cause I just wanna taste, I wanna taste it. But you, you totally could. I mean, it stayed together enough. You could stick it on bread or a bun or, you know, and dress it up as you would a burger. Oh, that's really good. It has, um, it does pack a lot of flavor. Again, like I said, texturally, it's not the same as a normal burger. It's more uh, texture wise. Um, I would compare this to the ones that I buy pre-made in the frozen section in the grocery store. Mm, I actually really like this. I think um, I actually might make this again. Maybe I would pick different ingredients next time. Maybe um, like black bean and corn. 
or with pepper. I definitely, I might make these again instead of buying from the grocery store because then I can choose the ingredients that go into it. But wow, I'm impressed. I thought it would be a lot harder to make, to make a veggie burger. Um, and like I said, this recipe is great, super customizable. I will link it below. And I loved the fact that um, I could just use the potato masher instead of a food processor. Don't forget to give a like and share. And if you don't want to miss any future episodes of Supernatural Eats, where I explore the food and drink of the show, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.